Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and as promised in my email newsletter that was sent out on Sunday, I'm going to teach you how to make a pizza charm. The pizza charm is made using 17 rubber bands in the color you want your crust to be. I'm using Rainbow Loom brand burgundy today. You'll need six in the color of the sauce, so some sort of red, and then 15 rubber bands for the color of your cheese. I'm actually going to use two different shades of orange this time for variety. You'll see that in this piece of pizza I made, I used yellow for the cheese. In this one, I used one shade of orange and one shade that was the Rainbow Loom brand caramel. So you have some flexibility depending on what rubber bands you have at home to make this charm. You'll see I have my loom set up in the staggered configuration, which means that those of you at home who have a wonder loom or a banda loom or a crazy loom or a fun loom, you should have no trouble making this charm along with me today. So let's begin. I have, as you'll see, the arrow at the bottom pointing away from me. We're going to start with a single rubber band in the color of the crust. Then we're going to take two at a time and place it from the center to the diagonal up on the right. And following along that path, because we want our crust to be the widest point, we're going to take from that peg that we just placed on and pull back one. And eventually we'll turn that out to the side. And now we're going to do the same on the other side, so from the center peg on the diagonal up to the left. And to extend our crust on this side, just like that. And to finish these two corners, we're going to add a cap band. So you want to take your single rubber band and ideally wrap it around at least three times. If you can do four, that's even better. If you're using a different brand of rubber bands and can only do two, you'll be okay. Hang in there. But ideally, at least three times, it makes the edges look like a sharp corner. And uh, the result's more consistent. So once you have those placed, we're gonna take two more on that crust color and we can go from left to right now. For each of these. And I must say as I make my pizza charm that I need to give credit to a girl named Zara who lives in my neighborhood, is friends with my daughter, and showed me a pizza charm a few weeks ago. Uh, I loved her idea, and so I'd been working on getting the design exactly right. So thank you, Zara, for that inspiration. Two orange now on the left. And we need, in the middle, we'll start sprinkling in some sauce. So I've got an orange and a red. And I'm going to put another red and orange on the side. Where you put orange, where you put red, you know, it's up to you. It doesn't have to be precise. Every piece of pizza looks a little bit different. So that's your first row of cheese and sauce. For the second row, we're going to take, again, some cheese and sauce and put it straight. And... Cheese and sauce in the center. And then on the right side here, we're going to do something a little bit different to make the shape come in like a triangle. So starting from here, we're going to go on the diagonal to the center with our two cheese. So now to get more of that triangle formed from the left side, we're going to go to the center peg and then the center 
forward and to create a really distinct tip of your pizza slice we're going to take two on the center peg and go forward and add a single cheese colored band as a cap at the very tip of your pizza piece and again at least three times if you can four if you're able just wrap around that same spot and we just need to add two more bands we're going to take a cheese colored band and place it around these three pegs like that and then we're going to do the same thing around these three pegs but this time instead of just doing it once we're going to stretch twist and fold it over so that it goes around those same three pegs twice. That helps create that real pizza slice shape. And that's all of the rubber bands you need to make your pizza. So rotate your loom around and get your hook. And we're gonna start down here Reach back with your hook, catch the two bands, and bring them forward. Catch the top two bands. You may need to look at it from the side to make sure those are separated and you can catch the top two easier. side left and then the top two go up on the diagonal and the center goes straight forward reaching behind that cap band Get the two that go forward, center, Ooh, almost slipped off there, and the right side, yay. And now we just need to finish our crust. So we're going to go left, center. And right and now we have one tricky thing to do we need to hook from in here back down to the side so I'm gonna tilt up so you can watch what I do I catch this right around the side there and pull it up keeping my thumb on that cap band to help keep it from popping and then I bring that down here and I'm going to do that on the other side too. So reaching back with my hook to catch those two bands on the side here and bring them up and in and then back down. And that's going to be the edges of your crust. And now you can come in here Catch those bottom two bands, bring them up into the center, and repeat on this side. There you go. And into the center. your bottom one we're going to create a slip knot 
by taking the bottom band through the center of the top band and pulling tight. Now this will all stay together and you can use this loop which will be at the top of your pizza slice to attach your charm to a bracelet or a necklace or a keychain. Wherever you want to use it, your pizza will be in the right direction. So take off the two corners of the crust first and then the bottom. Now this order, the whole charm is now connected. I'm just trying to take these off in the way that will make it least likely you break a rubber band. Um, but if you are comfortable taking it off in another order, it should stay together just fine. So use your fingers or use your hook, whatever's easier for you to get those rubber bands off. It's generally best to remove the sides before the center. Take that pizza off. There it is. Now just adjust your crust to make sure that it lies flat and give a little tug so you form that perfect triangle shape. I hope you enjoyed making a pizza charm with me today and that your pizza has come out well too. If you like food charms, I have posted a root beer float. I guess technically that's a drink, not a food. An ice cream sundae, hamburger, cookie, coming soon, the taco. Also have a waitress uniform, and lots of other fun charms to make too, like the pencil and the smiling sunshine. So thank you again for watching. Please subscribe and click like below. Also, I do review my comments regularly. Please add your suggestions to the comments of what charms you would like to see me make next. Thank you again for watching and I look forward to looming with you again soon.